Hi students, welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. As all of you know, RBI assistant notification is out, and many of you have requested me to make a detailed video about RBI assistant notification, about the exam pattern, the syllabus, and the work profile. So today we will discuss in depth about this particular notification. The first thing we will discuss about the work profile. First of all. RBI is an apex regulatory organization for banking in India. For an obvious reason, you get a lot of respect in the society if you are working for RBI. So if somebody, if, if any student comes to me and mails me about whether he should choose between RBI assistant or a bank clerk or even PO, no doubt RBI assistant is the right choice. RB grade B is obviously the right choice, but even RB assistant is much better uh, has a much better work profile than a normal bank PO. You get a you'll get a lots of perks. Further, it's a five day week, so there is a proper balance between your social life. There is a not much workload on on you, and further. You, it's not a normal clerk profile. RBI assistant is not a normal clerk profile. I'm repeating this line because you need to closely work with the various departments in the organization. And then it's not a normal, you know, a normal dealing with the customers. You have to deal with the officers out there. The, the people who are actually making the policies for managing the country's money. So every employee in the RB, even the assistant, even that grade B, that officers, everybody is having a lot of responsibilities. So the responsibilities comes with that respect. So you're going to have a lot of respect in that in the society. Then a lot of learning is involved, as it is not a normal clerk profile, as you as you can see in the normal banks where there are cashiers and there are normal people who are just opening accounts all day who are clearing the checks it is not the scene in rbi rbi is the most rbi is the i think according to me it's the best financial institution in india to work with then uh, let me discuss about the opportunities in the future if you are working as an assistant in rbi you will get a age relaxation while appearing for rbi grade b exam you can prepare for the grade b exam Meanwhile, you can prepare for that general awareness section as if you if you have the abilities to crack the RBI assistant exam, you can just polish your skills. You can just prepare for that remaining sections that are uh, that are part of RBI grade B, and then you can appear for the grade B exam again and again. You'll get the age relaxation. Then let let's discuss about RBI assistant exam. So first of all, there is a prelims exam. So in the prelims exam, it's a first of all, it is a one hour. There are three sections. The first one is numerical ability or quantitative ability. Numerical ability. I'm sorry for the bad handwriting. That's all I have. Numerical ability, reasoning ability. The third one is English language. If you are appearing, if you are regularly appearing for the banking examination such as IBPS or SBI, the normal cutoff for prelims exam, the pattern is almost same for the prelims exam. The normal cutoff is around 45 to 50. But in case of RBI, 55 to 60 should be a, a you can say an ideal ideal mark for that selection for the main exam. Not the final selection. I think 60, 55 to 60 is a, uh, I think it, it's good marks. So 35 marks for numerical ability and 35 numerical ability or quantitative ability. 35, 35 and this one is 30. There are 100 questions and one R is allotted. So according to me, you need to score around the safe score. Safe score is 30 marks, uh, 50 to 60 marks. 50 to 60 marks is a safe score. If you are good at English, you have an advantage. Because I think it is 
difficult to you know attempt one question per minute in that numerical ability or reasoning ability section but it is possible and it is easy to score one mark per minute in english section the people who generally crack the exam the normal people i'm talking about they score around 20 to 25 in this particular section and remaining 20 20 in these one 18 to 20 18 to 20 so if if you're appearing for ibps po prelim or ibps clerk prelim that 46 47 50 those marks are enough but for rbi assistant you need at least 55 so prepare accordingly for the syllabus let me tell you for the numerical ability the simple the syllabus is the simple there will be one data interpretation set for the 35 marks let's discuss in detail if you are a newbie for the numerical ability The first one is DI data interpretation. There will be one or two sets. Five to ten marks goes to data interpretation. Then there is normally uh, that uh, miscellaneous part that is time and work, time and distance. Simple and compound interest. Averages, ratio and proportions, problems based on ages. So these chapters, there are few other chapters, allegations, LCM, HCF, simplification, you will get around 15 marks from these topics. And this one is easy to attempt. And rest of the marks you can say about there is series, it's also an important part. Series, this is one of the easiest part of the exam, one of the easiest part. In normally in the uh, clerical level exam, or even in the PEO level exam, you will find at least 5 questions from series in the quantitative aptitude and 5 questions in the reasoning and it will be about alphabetic, uh, alphabetical series. So. A grand total of 10 marks will be from that series portion only so it will be normally it's around 5 marks so it it, uh, it makes around 35 marks and then total it is 35 marks so that's the kind of syllabus you have normally in the prelims level exam you won't find geometry you won't find probability so that's all you have to do in the mains exam you will find geometry basics of geometry that simple area volume circumference the basic theorems of triangle that will be the part of veins exam so it is not a part of the prelims exam and you will find a bit of probability in the mains exam probability permutation combination that's all the difference between prelims and mains exam so that's all about the marital ability i have shared notes in the description please download those notes So the next part is reasoning. So seating arrangement. It's a very important topic. You will find at least two seating arrangement sets, one or two. There will be a circular seating arrangement. Few people are facing towards center few people are not facing towards so facing outside and there will be a linear setting arrangement then there will be a, uh, a square table eight people are sitting ten people are sitting six people are sitting so there will be two sets one or two sets from sitting arrangement then there will be puzzles it's a difficult part most of the time they are difficult to attempt 10 marks 5 to 10 marks two puzzles are one or two puzzles are there so there are eight people there are uh, A, B, C, D, E, then uh, that there is one engineer, one doctor, A is the wife of D, C is the wife of B, and you need to find who is the daughter of E. So such questions are there. These puzzles are there. 
then you will find questions from blood relations series again input output input output call machine coding decoding so remaining if 20 marks is there 15 marks should be here right so the, uh, this part is easy to attempt we left the age uh, problems based on ages so many topics are there oh, it all makes 35 marks luckily there is no difference between the syllabus of prelims exam and the mains exam they both are almost same but there is a there is some difference between the difficulty level the prelims exam is bit easier than the mains exam so let's talk about the english section in english you will find a reading comprehension normally will be around 5 to 10 marks then there will be close test there can be or there not be a close test so it will be a, a paragraph there will be a paragraph i think it's going above it there will be a paragraph with few blanks and you need to fill those blanks so it normally there are 5 to 10 marks allotted to close test and then you will find vocab synonym antonyms and similar questions from vocab synonym antonym you will find at least 5 marks and then there are spot grammatical mistakes error spotting there are 5 to 10 marks for error spotting then there are para jumbles Five marks for para jumbles. And recently in IBPS clerk exam, there was ten marks allotted to RC, ten marks allotted to close test, and ten marks allotted to error correction. There were no vocab and there were no para jumbles. We can expect a similar trend in the in the RBA assistant exam. So that's all for English section. The pattern is same for the mains exam, but again difficult. There is the difficulty level differs. Means exam is a little bit dif difficult than the prelims exam. Then let's talk about the means exam. What's the pattern of means exam? In means exam, there are five sections. Again, there is numerical ability. Reasoning ability. English. General awareness. And then computer awareness. Forty marks allotted to each of them, and two hours allotted to the whole exam. So the syllabus of numerical ability, reasoning ability, and English section I have already shared about it. In the numerical ability, you can see uh, you can see probability or basic geometry. But in that is the trick for the mains exam. These 80 marks. You can score 80 out of 80 if you are intelligent enough. But most of the students concentrate on these parts. But they avoid these sections. They don't you know, put more time in these sections while uh, doing the preparations. So you can do I think you can do both of these parts within 20 minutes. And you can score 72-73. It is possible. The computer awareness, that one is really, really very easy. There are There is a book, there is a 200 pages book out of which you will find 20, 30 questions. So it is very easy to score in this particular section. In the computer awareness section, there is basic, uh, the, let me tell you the syllabus. So let's just write it about the computer awareness syllabus. Why don't we just speak about it? In the computer awareness, the first one, the basics. You need to learn about the Microsoft Excel shortcuts, then the basic file extensions, 
the basics about the computer then there is office suit ms office you need to you know read a bit about ms office there are a lot of questions about ms office in, in the exams and the recent exams then you need to read about history of computers it is an important topic that most of the students don't concentrate they don't care about this particular section the history of computers it is an important part then various input output devices it's a part of basics i assume that you know the various types of printers there are laser printers inkjet printers then dot matrix i i hope you are aware about the various technologies that work behind those things there are various input devices various output devices that's a part of basics of computer then you need to learn about internet technologies so you need to learn about that payment wallets the internet banking the various threats to internet banking the phishing the various stuffs about internet technologies and how internet technologies are related to banking you need to learn about that there are various terms encryption 128 bit encryption you should learn about that then there is a bitcoin concept you need to learn about such concept under internet technologies then there are various computer net uh, sorry let me complete it computer network concepts it's a deep deep chapter you need to learn about various types of computer networks then there are various devices in computer networks the routers the bridges then the extender the range extenders then you need to need about read about that various types of topologies are there then the security threats in a network then there are network languages and there are a lot of lot of stuffs in computer networks then you need to learn about the uh, protocols then there is tcp protocol then osi model you need to learn about all those models and all it's a part of computer networks then you need to learn about dbms most of the people think that uh, dbms is a part of syllabus of it officers but you need to learn basics about dbms what are dbms is what are tables what are rows what are all such stuff you need to there are relational database system non relational table based you need to read about that there are various technologies in the dbms there is now nowadays json is used in the dbms then you need to read about that the various technologies and the various softwares that are used to manage the data in the on the internet there is php my admin mysql you need to read about that and i think that's network technologies dbms then recent trends in the recent trends you need to read about that read about the payment wallets you need to that payment wallet that such as paytm free charge how uh, because there is a demonetization scenario is there so you need to read about the payment wallets internet banking the cashless society you need to read about how these stuff work the technologies behind them you need to read about them so that's all about the computer awareness so this is very important the network thing i i want to go in depth about uh, the various types of uh, that you uh, that software engineering is a, that is a part of it officer syllabus the software engineering is there then there are languages oracle etc you need don't need to read about that 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 are the most important part so i have shared the notes of computer awareness in the comments uh, in the description if you have any problem just make a comment i'll reply all of you so let's talk about the syllabus of general awareness section general awareness section very scoring section marks rich section in the general awareness section what most of the people do they read about the current affairs they read about the static gk they read about the basics of banking but that's not that's not enough 
basic science is a part of the syllabus basic science is there some of the basic science is there and then there is some of the you need to read about banking in depth because there is a 35 marks interview is also there so you should read about banking in depth you should know what crr actually is and how it impacts our economy how each and every stuff each and every uh, matrices each and every step of rbi is impacting our society our economy you should read a basics of economics as well so at the time of interview you are expected to read about economics that is important i'm going to share basic notes that that those crisp crisp 40 50 pages notes i'm going to share those notes but you should read the basics of economics you should know about the demand elasticity you should know about the uh, that various principles of economics you should know about how that price affects the demand you should know about the there are various substitutes how the price of one substitute impacts the demand and you should know how much it affects so you you are as we assume that the rbi assumes that that you know the basics of banking then you you are aware about the various tools in the hands of rbi that actually directly impacts the whole of the economy and i and i recommend you if if you have started prep, your preparations for rbi assistant exam go through the official rbi site it is the best site for banking awareness section i i know that i shouldn't speak that but the the kind of information that the official rbi website is having no book no other website nothing nobody is having that much information that much accurate information about banking in all of the all, all over india and that too in the they provide the best notes about banking that's true just go through the whole site there are lots of documents there are lots of pdfs is there so go through the official rbi website so i think that's all for today i have provided the link to my rbi assistant notes in the description download those links subscribe to my youtube channel just click the subscribe button press the like button and post your queries in the comment section have a nice day bye